Yeah, that's better. All right, sorry about that, guys. That was my bad. Um, so all I was doing was asking if these um, purple snowflakes were too much for the card. Um, I pulled a silly and forgot to, like, we're having some problems with the sound today. I'm sure you've noticed. Um, so pretzel was interfering with uh, my sound, I think. Oh. Right, and I am back. So. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, so purple snowflakes. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to run with it. So. Run with purple snowflakes. We'll just keep keep a moving on here. Some problems with the sound. I'm learning yet, so. Oh yeah, I was gonna remind everybody we're having a giveaway today. You can enter the giveaway slash raffle or whatever by doing exclamation point raffle and then put, putting a space and then your name. Um, I'd love to give away one of these cards that I'm working on. So if you're interested, you're more than welcome to participate and get a free card. So you can also support me by going to Patreon slash I'm at patreon.com slash Jade and signing up for my $5 tier and getting a card that way. Um, that includes international shipping. So if you're international, you don't have to worry about. Also includes domestic shipping. I have to keep reminding myself to say that. So, yeah, shipping everywhere. Yep, fun times. Yeah, so enter the raffle, guys. It's these cards are pretty cool. They're homemade, handmade, and the ones I'm giving away have these rainbow trees on them. I don't know. I might even include some other little extras. So you're gonna have to let me know if you want it addressed to you. Or if you want it sent blank so you can give it to somebody else. Because I'm willing to do either. I just thought it would be a little fun. Get these all done up. Little hair there. I'm sure it was a cat hair. There are cat hairs everywhere in my studio. I shared the space with my kitties. I'm being awfully quiet. I wonder if they've gotten into something. This is the last card we need to do. Use brush pens to finish this up. There we go. See? That looks pretty slick. Then we have this finished one. This is the one I was originally going to give away. We got three snowflakes and happy holidays and the rainbow tree. Blue snowflake here. All glittery. But we'll see. You can pick which one you want. So now we're going to take four envelopes. I'm 
and stamp on the front of here on the flap here sometimes I also stamp on the other side um, like right in this corner and then I'd put my address but this year I'm doing it all on the flap so it looks kind of like a seal Oh, we're going to close this brush pan up. We're going to wash these stamps off. I might need to get new paper towel here soon. There we go. Let's see if this is, that's not quite dry yet. Oh, that's good. I think we're going to do this blue that we did on this on there on the flap of the envelope. So just brush that across. There's one done. Two. See? Three. That one's nice and centered. There we go. One's also nice and centered. So that is, these are almost done. Almost in a nutshell how you do these cards. Um, let's see if I can't get there. One step left. And that is to adhere these snowflakes onto the front of the cards. So let me grab some Now I'm out of dots, but I do have these squares that will give them some dimension. They're covered in cat hair, of course. Um, Let's see their little squares, little foam squares. So we're just gonna take that off. They should come right off. Oh, they're very sticky. And just put this roughly in the middle. See, in the middle. might do these slightly different. Then the other ones. Let's see. Gives a little bit of dimension. Mm, can't really see that. There we go. There. Ta-da! So We'll just do this for all four cards. Man, this stuff is sticky. These squares are also fairly old. So hopefully they, I don't think they've lost their stick at all, which is great. Yeah, that looks pretty nice.
I wonder if I can turn pretzel back on now. Should we try it? This is a learning experience, so. Oh my goodness. That is Odie barking. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear him. That is my mom's dog. Woof woof. There we go. There we go. So these are all finished. They have the snowflake in front and in a little diamond shape. And it opens up and it's a rainbow card in there. Rainbow tree in the card. So goodness. Yep. It's good. So got these all finished. Now we have to make like a bunch more. <laughs> so give me one second while I get some more card stuff to work on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've gotten uh, start, started folding some of these cards. Um, I have this many more to fold. Oh goodness. Alright, so like I was saying, I got this many cards folded so far. I did those off camera. Not, not right now, but when I was busy folding cards before. And I got this many more to go. We'll do that real quick. Um, I know I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but you can see they're scored already. So it makes them super easy to fold. Um, if you can get like a special, I don't know if I call it a machine, but it's like a tray and it has little indents in it. And you can take a bone folder and just score your own cards and do it that way. But I usually buy these pre-scored um, just because it saves me a step or two. Uh, usually if you're going to be scoring your own cards, you're also going to be cutting out your own cards, I think. 
and that sounds like a lot more work than I don't know, that just sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> so, I usually buy these pre-cuts and pre-scored. And they come with envelopes. So. It works well for me. So, yeah, if Pretzel takes over again, please let me know. Um... Pretty please let me know if all you can hear is pretzel. We're just folding cardstock into cards. We just fold. So yeah, I was going through my craft supplies a couple days ago and I found out that, yes indeed, I do actually have a bone folder. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. So you can do, even though these are scored, you could also run them bone, bone folder over the seams to get them a little bit more sharp. So. There's this. So we got all these folded. It didn't take very much time at all. So that's good. I'm just going to take a sip of my soda. Now I got to reserve five of these cards for a custom order. I was talking about them earlier. Oh, that's six. So five of these for a custom order. I'll set aside some envelopes for these two. Two. No, it's five. All right. So set these aside. Now we can get to adhering paper to these. Um, and stamping them and making them nice holiday cards. So we have five rainbow cards done so far. Rainbow tree cards. Anyway, here's one of the designs. We made four of these. And then there's uh, this one, which was the first one. It's got three snowflakes in it instead of just the two with this on the front. So yeah, so that's good. I have a huge stack of snowflake paper. Well, huge is relative, but it's a pretty big stack. So. We'll start adhering these to the paper, I guess. I'm thinking I might want to move some stuff around. Ooh, don't drop any stamps. Moving some stuff out of the way so I have a little bit more room to work. So this is going to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 more cards, which is great. I have about 42 cards that are 
um, completely finished right now. I do have to redo the snowflakes on a bunch of them. Um, but I didn't include that in this total. So those are going to get redone. I think I had, I had a lot more cards before I had to redo those snowflakes. So that's okay. Live and learn. So yeah, recently a friend of mine designed for me a new Patreon video. I was really excited. Um, so I haven't uploaded it yet, but hopefully I'll do that today. Super stoked about it. So I'm sure you were able to see that this paper costs about 70 cents a sheet. I bought them on sale. I highly recommend you do the same thing. Um, otherwise they will cost 70 cents a sheet and that is probably too much to pay for. I mean it's nice for specialty paper. I guess it's still not that expensive but when you're buying like 20 sheets plus you don't want to be paying 70 cents a sheet for a piece of paper. So I try to be thrifty wherever I can. I had gotten a gift certificate to Hobby Lobby, so that's why I went there um, and bought some of this stuff. It's for my birthday. Just cleaning up some extra rubber cement. I'll flip this around. You know, I don't think my little chat box is working all that well. Hmm. Should be showing up everything that's in chat, including the pretzel stuff. I'll have to fix that later. I think it's semi-transparent though. Yeah. Get that right there. There we are. Getting these done one at a time. So after we get this sheet rubber cemented, the cards down, I'm going to set it aside and do the rest of them. Just a reminder, if you want to enter into the raffle, you do exclamation point raffle and put in your name space your name. I'm giving away a rainbow tree card. You can pick from the two designs I have and you can either have me address it to you or you can send it to somebody else or I can send it to you blank. So easy peasy. Have another one of these sheets of snowflake paper. I just think these are so pretty. It's got blue, purple, and pink. Kind of do non traditional holiday colors here. I did do some Santa ones too, and those turned out awesome. I'll show you, uh, show you some of those finished cards in just one second. I'm going to adhere some more of these cards to the
just a reminder, I'm going to be um, uploading this video to YouTube after the stream is finished. Um, so that ought to be good. Putting this on there. My apologies, I'm used to working a little bit closer to my body. So you can see so you can move these around pretty well for you. Secure them. I'm really excited to show you guys some pendants I've been working on for a while. They're teardrop pendants. You can see a bunch of them on my website at cnhacreations.com. Uh, super pretty. They have, uh, I believe, aluminum wire and silver plated wire as the wiring wire. <laughs> I'll have to show you what I mean when I make them on Twitch. But they're, uh, they're really cool. I've been having a lot of fun and they use real gemstones. So... I think my most recent, I use briolettes. They're teardrop shaped gemstones with a hole drilled at the top. So you can view a whole bunch of those on my website under teardrop pendants or necklaces. They come with a chain. Um, That's good. Trying to make card making accessible to everybody. It's not hard. You don't need a ton of stamps to get started. If you like it, your collections of stuff will grow as you go along, you know, and doing different holidays and stuff. Set that aside, let those dry. Grab another piece of snowflake paper. So I do need to set aside a piece of the snowflake paper for those custom cards I was going to make. So if I run out of this paper before the custom cards, that would be bad. So I'd have to seriously come up with a different design. What I really need to do is set aside a sheet of this paper plus one fourth. Because <laughs> I have five cards and only four of these cards fit per sheet, but I'll get it sorted. So I had an ancient rubber cement that I was going to let my sister use. Uh, and uh, I, I do, I should emphasize that it was ancient. I didn't realize that I was letting her use such an old rubber cement. And when she tried to take the lid off, this brush snapped right off and stayed in the rubber cement. Which, in retrospect, is absolutely hilarious because I didn't know the rubber cement was that old, but... You know, what What was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I That should have been thrown out a long time ago. I 
Last year, I did not homemade, homemade cards for the holidays. I bought Christmas cards. I usually make them every year. But... That is all right. I started really early this year for me to make to make sure I made enough cards. Um, I've got a humongous Christmas card list. Just humongous this year. I keep adding people to it, so. Yep. It's the joy of Christmas card lists, I think, is that they keep getting bigger. So I don't think Pretzel has taken over again. And I hope you guys can hear me okay over the music. I trust you'd let me know if it was too overwhelming. Set these aside. Got some rubber cement on my hand, so I'm rubbing it off. See, I think we have eight cards left. And we have two sheets of snowflake paper left. So after this one. So that's perfect. I only needed one more after this one. Means I'll have plenty for my custom cards that I gotta make. Just rubber cemented. Sit here down here. Move that stuff out of the way. I'm gonna have to stamp a bunch of snowflakes too. Not only for these cards, but for uh replacement snowflakes so for those cards I messed up with the glitter there we go over. So yeah, I think the basics of stuff you're going to need for uh, card making are paper, different different papers, uh, depending on holiday or event. Um, you're going to need blank cards, like they come with envelopes. I would double check that. Some some stores sell just the envelopes, which is super handy if you're cutting your own cards, but just make sure you don't buy a pack of just envelopes. You want the cards in envelope. And then you're going to want a stamp or three, depending on what you want to do, and ink. Uh, 
So the stamp pads, you're going to want stamp pads. These things. You don't have to get the memento ones, but... And you don't have to get the tiny ink pads either. So they come in larger sizes than that. I actually have some. I just haven't broken them out in a while. I have all sorts of cool stamping supplies. I should be doing this for like every holiday. And actually using all my ink pads and for birthdays and stuff. That would be amazing. So I may actually have to break into some of my old cardstock, uh, cards and envelopes, and make some extra holiday cards because. I don't think I've made enough to cover everybody on my list. Plus the custom ones I've made. So. Figure out what paper I need to use for those. I have a box full of Christmas paper but this stuff was so cool that the snowflake paper was so cool I had to use it this year Do you notice I'm brushing most of the rubber cement off the brush? Otherwise it just kind of globs right on. So the other thing I love about rubber cement is that if you get it on your fingers, it just kind of, you can rub your hands together and just kind of balls right off. See? A little. You want to use it in a well-ventilated area, pretty please. Warnings come on the bottles. I'm sure it also depends by the rubber cement, but. I forgot to flip this around. Oh! Made it! Knocking everything over. Wipe the extra rubber cement that I got on here off. There. We have one more left to do. See, just one. Yeah, so I always do the step first. Because if you have direct paper where it's directional and you adhere the card in the wrong way, there's no good way to fix it except 
to use another sheet of paper and adhere it over that. There we go. Close this up now. Closing up the rubber cement. Set that over there. Put this for my custom card pile. Now we have these. Okay. Now we're going to start cutting these apart. I have dedicated paper scissors. Uh, it keeps them sharper longer. Side that in my scrap paper pile. Move these up here. It'd be really great if I could stop knocking stuff over. Like I need more room for stuff or something. To my immediate left are bags of beads and findings. Um, so I've been setting scrap pieces of paper on top of those bags. I'm going to do this first. Those ones are all done so far. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to use the scrap paper for yet. My idea was bookmarks, but I have to get a laminator first. And I don't know if that's going to happen before I mail these cards out. I thought that might be kind of fun. There we go. So yeah, this is the repetitive stuff. We're just gluing and cutting and then we'll be stamping. But we do it all one step at a time. It just makes it go a little bit faster. Instead of working on these piecemeal. Kitty. That's Allie C. I 
That's my alley. Yeah. Just doing these one step at a time. I think, yep, this is the last sheet we have to cut. Hallelujah, right? It does get a little bit monotonous. the cutting but it goes by a little bit faster if you have music or somebody to talk to or I highly encourage crafting with friends it is my plan one of these days to hold a crafting party I'm just not sure if I'm going to hold it at the library or my mom's church so I will let you know when that when that happens. I'm sure I'll post some pictures up on my Instagram. And if you're in the area, you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, I'll be taking donations to cover the rental fee of either the space at the church or the space at the library. And the use of my supplies. So, this one upside down. This. Just making sure they're all upset the right way. So now, so we need 20 of these. Let's count them out one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we have a few left, which is great. So these are just two by two squares cut out of cardstock using my Fiskars uh, paper cutter. And then we rounded the corners. So using a corner rounder. I'm gonna get another drink of my soda. Yeah, that little box is definitely not working right on the, on the screen in the bottom left-hand corner. It's supposed to list everything that's happening in chat. <laughs> and it is not doing the thing. So, let's see. We want to do, what color snowflakes should we do for these? We did purple ones already. I'm thinking we could do pink or blue. My pink is very light pink, though. I have these Memento ink pads. A variety of colors. You can see this pink. It's lilac posies. Maybe we'll try that one. That'll look pretty good. I 
Let's do a test one. Yeah, this one was never opened. Had never been opened before. Let's see here. All right, I need a snowflake stamp. So we got our snowflake stamp. We're just brushing this across. Gonna center this as best we can. Yeah, so I like wood stamps, but clear stamps might be better for centering on these. They have a uh, because you can see exactly where you're positioning them. Yeah, see that one was a little too high. I'm not saying it'll keep me from making like tons of placement mistakes, but it might help. That one was a little too low. I think after stamping all these snowflakes, I'd be able to figure out where to where to position it. What I might do is stamp some extra snowflakes in the corners in like blue or pink if I get these two off center. And that would be okay too. There's a lot of rubber cement right there. Oh, that's not rubber cement. That's a stamp cleaner. Eating the finish off of the table of my, off my table. Oops. I have to wait for that to dry. Yeah, so I'm trying to do a bunch of different kinds of cards, even though they use similar paper. That one's pretty well centered. Yeah. Did a pretty good job on that one. Not too bad either. Might still do some little stamping in this lighter pink of some other snowflakes. I think that might look cool. Yeah, we're doing 20 of these little squares. Yeah, just a reminder, we're doing a giveaway for 
a rainbow tree card. If you'd like to enter, just hit exclamation point raffle with your name after a little space. Should be good. Almost done with the stack. May have to ask the boyfriend to cut me some more of these white cardstock squares. I don't think I'm going to have enough to fix the piece of ink. The, see how this has a little fabric thread edge right there? Part of that got on my stamp. It wasn't a huge deal. I don't think you can tell on the impressed image. But I didn't want it to stay on the stamp. So I took it off. There we go. Put that one up, get the, the stamp cleaned. Get this pink ink off the So I'm going to grab a piece of paper towel. Just brush that up across. I'm going to put some little snowflakes on here. I kind of like how that looks. Yeah, so the extra ink is going under the paper towel and getting soaked up there. So if these are at all lopsided, they'll get a little evened out by the stamping. Just keep that one with the one in the corner. So you can also stamp on a piece of cardstock. I chose paper towel because it, the ink won't transfer to the backs of these if you use a paper towel. Probably. 
I also won't get it on my table. Put that over there. These aren't too bad. Not too lopsided. So I thought about using potentially this little stamp on these two. But I kind of like how intricate this one is versus that one on here. We can try it though. Oh, that's two. We'll do that one. Link that up. Put right here. That looks pretty good too. I still like this one better though, I think. It's not bad, but I like this one better. Let's get all these done. Let's see the little pink on the paper towel. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but. There we go. Two left. There. That one all done. Better clean those guys. I'm gonna clean these stamps using the stays on. There we go. I'm gonna put this paper towel underneath this paper towel. Let's see, now we have to stamp the insides of these cards. So we'll do that all in a row, I think. So instead of using the dots, I think we might use double-sided tape to adhere these directly onto the card so they aren't three-dimensional, unless I have enough of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times four. That's probably enough. Well, I suppose we can make them three-dimensional. Set those aside for now. Now I wasn't I wasn't sure if I wanted to make the trees the same as the other cards. I'll show you. Oh, wrong one. I'll show you these anyway.
So here are the other snowflake cards I made. As you can see, these snowflakes are pink instead of purple. And then they have the heart, pink heart, green tree, brown trunk. There's some pink snowflakes here. And you go all the way on there. And then on the back, homemade by, and then my name with the year. And I don't know if you can tell, but I use sparkly pens on my name. I don't know if that's showing up real well. But it's very cool. And then I also wanted to show you, I know I told you I'd show you these Santa cards. But they're were cut with a one inch by three inch strip of paper using the paper cutter and then half an inch larger around with the glitter paper. So they're 3.5 by 1.5 inches around. And then they have the blue snowflakes in this in this in the inside with the making spirits merry and bright. And then the same tree. It would be an awful lot of work to make them all rainbow trees. And I see it's already seven. So I know I said I'd keep it, do it from five to seven. I'm going to go a little bit over because I started late today. Um, so. So yeah, let's let's work on these. Sorry, I just took a drink of my soda. So save those for later. Oh, I was gonna show you these. So I just got these off of Amazon. A friend of mine referred me to them. And they're so cool. They're uh Pentel hybrids. So The uh, barrels of these are sparkly, and when they're on white paper, they do one color. When they're on black paper, they do another. So, like, this one is orange on white paper and metallic yellow on a darker paper, which I just think is the coolest. So I've been using these a lot, and I used them on the Santa cards. Um... I filled in the ho 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 with those inks. So I don't know if you can see how sparkly they are on camera, but they're really pretty. So I was really tickled pink. Oh, one moment, please. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Um, so, yeah, let's get to this. So, like, should we do rainbow trees for the rest of these cards? We have 20 of them to do. It'll take a while. I probably won't do them all tonight on camera. I'll probably take them home and finish them up. But, I don't know. If you want to do rainbows, we can do rainbows. And I think it'll go pretty well with the pink. Pink snowflakes on the fronts. Any input? None? Mm. Let's try a couple of these in rainbows again. Oh, 
Oh, it was messed up. Gotta grab the right stamp, guys. So, let's see, we'll start with red. We could do some reverse rainbows on these two. I think that might look kind of cool. Squeak, squeak, squeak to the brush pens. I apologize, I hope that doesn't get on anybody's nerves. So we'll probably only do like, I don't know, three of these and then I'll let you all go for the night. And then I'll take these home and work on them tonight and, well this week, really. Because I'm not supposed to see you all back until Friday. I may try to do a... Uh, A bonus stream in there. <sighs> Try to do bonus stream in there for y'all. There. More rainbows. That looks pretty, pretty sweet. Would you guys like to see me before Friday? It might be nice. Sorry about having problems with the sound earlier. Not entirely sure what happened, but... cards. <sighs> There's the second one done. Let's get this third one finished. Then I'll let y'all go for the night. So as a recap, we are coloring our stamp with brush pens. These work like ink pads. 
except they're a little bit more customizable as far as colors go and right now we're coloring ours in a rainbow I have a large obsession with rainbows and Hello Kitty and cats. So I guess that should be large obsessions, plural, but that's okay. Last color purple. See if we can make this last impression a good one. <sighs> so we breathe on the stamp after we use brush pens to reactivate the ink because it gives it a little bit of time to dry, putting all the separate colors on. Let's see here. Make sure we got the corners good and oh yep there we are so we've gotten three of these done so far so all right people of the internet i will see you this friday if not before uh stream runs from six to eight on friday you can catch me on a bunch of different social media platforms under Zenith Jade. Um, you can also catch me on uh, Facebook, my Facebook page is Zenith Jade Creations, and you're more than welcome to shoot me an email at zenithjadecreates at gmail.com, or you can send me a message on my website, zenithjadecreations.com. Whatever floats your boat. And I hope you guys have a great night and a great week, and I'll see you another day.